السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو آرمی پبلک اسکول اینڈ کالج پی ایم اے کا کول ایبٹ آباد ریسورس نیٹ ورک آئی ایم قرت العین اشرف اینڈ بفور وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ نیو ٹاپکس پلیز سبسکرائب دس پیج اینڈ کلک آن بیل آئیکن سو یو کین ریسیو دا نوٹیفیکیشن آف اپ کمنگ ویڈیوز Now I explain the topic of week 5 that is word problems. Objectives are solve the word problems involving addition and subtraction. Use the five steps for solving word problems. Now students, you must find out whether a word problem requires an addition or subtraction. And for this purpose, we look for some clue words in the question. Just like for addition, we use plus and total of all together combined together. together increased by add some more than added to in all and make and just like addition some clue words are used for subtraction just like subtract give take away decrease by fewer minus shared fewer than less than difference and less There are five steps for solving word problems. Number one is read the problem carefully. Next is underline or circle the important words or operations. And operations mean plus or minus. Three is do the working. Number four is write the statements. And the last one is check your work. and now i explain these steps by solving an example for you now we follow the first step that is read the problem carefully the problem is there are 2468 students in the school hall 1350 students went back to their classrooms how many students remain in the hall now we follow the second step that is underline the important words or operations so the important words are 2468 1350 went back and remained went back and remained showed that this question is of subtraction now students we solve the question and follow the third step that is do the working you should make a column for working on the right side of the page and then do the working as i told you that this problem is of subtraction so we subtract these two numbers 2468 minus 1350 in the working column we get the answer 1118 
now we follow the fourth step that is write the statements so the statements are total students at first is equal to 2468 then number of students went back to their classrooms is equal to 1350 so we can find the remaining number of students by subtracting these two numbers so we get the answer 1118 and in the last check your answer by adding the 1118 to the smaller number that is 1350 so you get the bigger number that is 2468 Before any written work, I am sharing the success criteria that is use the five steps for solving word problems, use the plus sign and use the minus sign. Now we are going to start chapter number three that is multiplication and division. And in this chapter, we are going to start its lesson number one, which is multiplication table of six and seven. And before we are going to start this topic, you should memorize the table from two to five first. Objectives are build up the table of six, learn the table of six, use the table of six and memorize the table of six. Let's learn students how we make the table of six. We build up the multiplication table of six based on the idea six more than. That is, if you can write 6, 1 is 6, then you take one group of 6. And if you can write 6, 2 is 12, then you should take two groups of 6. In similar way, we make the full table of 6, which is based on the idea 6 more than are by making the same number of groups of 6. Now you should learn and memorize the question number two related to the table of six is what are the missing numbers? Six, twelve, then blank, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, again blank, forty-eight, blank, and sixty. Now I am going to start the topic of week 6 that is table of 7 and the objectives are build up the table of 7, learn the table of 7, use the table of 7. Let's learn how we make the table of 7. Now students we build up the multiplication table of 7 which is based on the idea of 7 more than. For this purpose, you can make 7 circles or take any objects in number of 7 and make their groups. That is, if you can write 7 1 is 7, then you should take one group of 7. 
and if you can write two sevens are fourteen then you can make two groups of seven in the similar way we built up the table of seven on the same concept we make the whole table of seven by adding seven or by making groups of seven now i am giving you practice number two which is based on the table of seven that is color the chart below in steps of seven starting from seven you should color that boxes in which we get the numbers which are in the table of seven just like seven fourteen and so on Now, an activity for you, take some matchsticks or kidney beans and make the groups of 6 and 7 on a plain surface or on a board. Then, build up the table of 6 and 7 by making the groups. And in the same way, you can also learn the table of 8. After that, you should learn and memorize all the three tables. Now I am going to share success criteria. Learn the multiplication tables of 6, 7 and 8. Make groups of 6, make groups of 7 and make groups of 8. Now students, thank you and Allah Hafiz.